So we're helping out the rups a little bit tonight. We're not combining corn any tonight at our farm. We've got about 30 acres left. Carson's dad's doing a little combining with the uh, farm he works for, so. There's a 1050 cent on a grain cart. And then we got a 718 here for pulling wagons and uh, S660 John Deere combine with an eight row folding corn head. So about eight o'clock now, should be done with this farm tonight. Just got home, got everything put away. About 11.30, just got done for the night. Got that big field off that we were on. 29 acre farm down there. Got that finished up, got the bin about 98% full. So it worked out perfect. Got a little room on the top for the air to move around. Got everything empty. Got eight more, about five, five, six acres probably left right behind the one breeding pen here at the home farm. It's probably about 25, 26% right now. So might dig into that tomorrow. We'll have to see what the weather does, but ground stayed frozen. It got a little bit smeary, but then once the sun went down, so it froze back up again. Tomorrow it's gonna get real warm, but uh, nothing went wrong. Everything stuck together today. Nothing flew apart. So from here on out, we there's not much more that could go wrong. So shut her down, go push feet up, and uh, head on in. Go to school. And uh, so today is December 2nd, doing some odd jobs here after we get the heifers all fed up. Getting back up to a higher number of heifers uh, since probably a year ago. Got about 70 head under the bank barn now, all Holsteins. Just brought another group yesterday. So we're basically full right now, so that's a good thing. So these are the older group over here, younger ones over here. Feeding them pellets, hay, some get silage, and then they get transferred off of hay and pellets onto just silage when they're about eight, nine months old. They'll be on silage and pellets until they're about nine and a half months old or so, and they'll be just on silage for the rest of their life. So 
done feeding probably about uh not quite nine o'clock now dad's finishing up at the other farm bryson's working on cleaning up a spreader we're going to work on it a little bit today got a couple tractors i'm going to get serviced here and uh got quite a bit of rain so nothing to do in the fields got about five more acres of corn we'll do sometime in the next week or so no big deal right behind the barn here uh, it was no tilled so if it, we have to take it off when it's wet or something not a big deal so got the bin full it's drying down a little bit so it can stay in there a couple months got the auger taken down the other day and got most of the manure hauled out probably only five or ten loads we could haul right now so sitting real good right there uh probably three four years ago we had like 150 loads this time last year or this time of the year so always good to keep the manure hauled so you don't get in the pinch when you're trying to plant but so it's about three four o'clock now got uh one of the gravity wagons washed up just got a clean inside out yet we're going to be done with that we may need the other one just so we got uh finish filling the semi when it comes probably got semi load out there in the field yet got the brush hog cleaned off We've got to grease it so we can put that away this week 8124 is cleaned up had two things to fix up on it got it done midway through the day got to put a little oil grease on her yet got to keep adding oil to this here leaks a little bit hit all the grease points probably about 14 of them Spent about an hour or so working on this. Was rusted through right here. Put a sheet on each side. So maybe later in the winter might get to this. Uh, come up with something to do with this here hole. Probably do a similar thing, but not, not really much to work with there. But we might do it later in the week just depending on where we're at. Got the 4240. Got the oil changed on that. Still need to run a little grease in that. And then probably later this week, we'll come back to that tractor, give it a full wash, cab detail, because we're not using that tractor at all this winter, unless we got to run it on a generator possibly, but that'd be the only time. Had to put a bolt on this. This was all falling apart. As you can see, all these are rusting out. Only one bolt was holding that all together. Got that fixed so it don't fall off. So yeah spreader is well used but still works great for what we're doing fixed on this earlier this summer so hey it's working but um got the little new holland skid loader in here that's another project so yeah lots of different projects going on uh dad's gonna feed here at the home farm i'll feed the calves here i gotta feed the calves here um feed up at the other farm tonight and then i gotta scrape the free stalls put sand in and then scrape and put a little sawdust in pen four so and then put this equipment away so should be done two three hours here so still very wet out here today but hey that's all right so anyways we'll get out of here So it is six o'clock now, just got done feeding all the cattle. Got the calves all fed, all that good stuff. Got all the equipment put away, got a little extra room in the shop now so we can do a few things if we have time. Cattle are on this side that we already scraped, so we're gonna shut this gate and then we're gonna go ahead and scrape the back side, put sand in and uh, scrape that other pen and call her good for the night. So uh, hit, hit it out uh, probably tomorrow or the next day pick you guys back up.
Today is December 8th. Dad just finished up the last few acres of corn here. Filled the truck and uh, the combine. So officially done with harvest on uh, December 8th. I haven't combined since about Thanksgiving. Let this little bit of corn dry down a little bit. And fields dry too. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, get her done. Got a few gates in today. Uh, working on stuff, keeping the cattle bedded and fed. But other than that, that's all for today's video. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Also, check out the Instagram at County Line Farming to keep daily updates.